Well, to be honest, Rhett, you should take care of business early. Lots of times people regret the second half. They don't make it out. Uh, that was a um, good, uh, great job uh, for the uh, starting guys uh, on the offense side. Speak for the also offensive side. Just want to start fast, uh, get the young guys in, uh, just show the, uh, the crowd and the people, the fans here. Just the future is bright for the Razorbacks, and we just want to get in and get in the show. Same thing with defense. We kind of wanted to just go back into the floor with how we did things a few games before that, and we just wanted to start fast, and not do many mess up calls, saying gaps, everything else. But. I feel like we just wanted to just go fast so we could let the younger guys actually play and get some experience. Um, I waited at that moment, and I just tell, I just told him, like, hey, I'm not going to lose confidence in you. Just keep playing ball. It'll come around. Another opportunity will come. Just keep playing ball. Just try to keep him level headed. Don't try to get too down on himself. And uh, just how I do the trailer, I mean, just Mitch Macho was just man to man, and I just chose trailing and try to work his side, and he just made a play for me. And it was a fourth down there, right? Like, yeah, I think that's like four. What you see that? What you see on that play? Did you expect him to touch that? Uh, I was, it's, I, I knew he was just going to, uh, I, I knew he was going to run by the guy. Uh, he was playing man and hard inside, so I knew just one training just attack feet. I knew it just get just put the ball up and just let him go make a play. <laughs> I was I had about, about I think it was about like about seven of my uh, family. I had a lot of friends come out for uh, support as well. Uh, they said they was waiting to get back to field. Yeah. <laughs> I know uh, Keytron's played quite a bit this year, hasn't really shown up in the stats. How big was it for him? How excited was he to get his first touchdown? Today? I was excited for Keytron. I mean, he came wide open. I didn't expect him to come that open. So I was just trying to give him an easy ball that he can, that he can kick. But for Keytron, I mean, he's had an extremely uh, good week. I mean, he just prepared, uh, missed some reps in with the ones, and just building his confidence. And that touchdown just put his confidence level to the roof now. So that's just my thing. Just help build his uh, confidence up. Uh, for both guys, that game was the biggest for us. You know, you had three tough SEC losses. You come here as a big favorite, and you know, and you blow them out like you told us in the first half. How good was that? And you know, carrying that into the, the open day, what do you guys feel about to do that you were doing this season for you? Yeah, I feel like that was a major jump start to our program and what we wanted to do. You know, because Bimmy said it was number one of our street, and we want to keep that going. I feel like it also, you know, brought back more life into people because, you know, um, after the Georgia game, I don't really think like the life wasn't really there. But now I see it in the locker rooms and everywhere else, and I really appreciate that. And I think we're going to go, you know, pretty far now since we have like a little jump start to what we got to do. I mean, Zay hit it right on the head. I mean, it's just a jump start of the street, the, uh, the run that Coach Pimby pitched to us, and we all bought into it. So, I mean, just getting the excitement back in the, uh, in, the, in the locker room, like you said, and just giving the fans a show as well. It's not good to get a break now that this has been out for so many days. It's actually good to stay here. Uh, I mean, I know that uh, all our hard work. I mean, we've been grinding from fall camp straight into the season, playing straight SEC games week in, week out. I mean, we so I mean, just by week is gonna is gonna you know, say get us right mentally and physically, just giving our bodies a rest and to get back uh, ready to work after uh, the bye week. Yeah, I mean, KJ really said it. It's really it's really good because you know everybody needs a break. You know, you love something so much, you need a break from it because you can gather yourself back and actually do better when you go back out. So I feel like this would be good for our team, and we make a lot of things happen after this break. Uh, Dumbly was pretty explosive. Uh, big bat, we like to use in the short yard because it's uh, his frame. And I mean, once he got in, I just told him, like, just trust him and uh, just hit the gap. A line on block so he doesn't hit your line and just hit the gap, basically. That's all I told him. And to see him uh, have those big runs that he had today, you know, I was extremely proud of him. And his confidence level is also rising enough uh, tremendously. So just making sure that he just stand the course and keeping the level head is awesome. Now, you got sacked for the whole coach. How that feel? How many folks do you think you had here? I had a lot. I remember my parents said there were at least a dozen. So, you know, and there are more people out in the tailgate, you know, of course, watching. 
So it did feel good that I got my sack, you know, from my hometown. Because it means a lot. It doesn't really mean a lot to everybody else inside of Arkansas, but it means a lot to people inside of Arkansas. And I just, it was a historic moment, you know, 70 some years since we first played this team. And grateful enough, I got a sack. So, you know, I was really happy about that moment. And, you know, I'm just going to remember it forever. We, we didn't have much defense, like shut out. Uh, oh, yes, what It was good, you know. Um, the younger guys, they got in during the half, second half, and they really, they, nobody got in the end zone. You know, of course, um, the one field goal, but you got to start somewhere. And I'm really, I'm really happy and proud about how the defense handled it in the second half. And, you know, the older people, we just coached them up. And they really loved the stuff we had to say. And we just felt good about that. Last question, Bob. Hey, hey what did you see on, on, on the touchdown run? We never had a touchdown run. No, uh, the main thing was uh, when Coach Brown called it. I mean, I look, we've been repping it all uh, week in practice, and I've been handing the ball a lot to him. And sometimes I had to stop handing it to him because he wanted so much to try to let the running back get a feel for it. But uh, when Coach Brown called it, just told me to just read it. And if I like get outside, like space, just try to get trailing in space. I mean, he's the freakish player in space. So I just, when I uh, snapped the ball, gave it to him, I turned around and looked. I sent him hit the lane, and it was over from there. Thanks, fellas. Great job. Sure. Talk to you